So there is a problem with driving Empire. So what they did is that they added loot crates with cars first. It was for in-game money, but then they added loot crate for like 650 Robux, some of you might think. That it's not expensive, but it's almost 7 euros. And people got really mad over it because in leaks they said that they're going to add 13 new cars, but didn't mention that it is going to be for Robux. So some of them mailed Sig, so that they would need to delete every Sig in the game, but I was lucky that I bought Yesco. Before they deleted it, but they didn't delete it from player's car inventory. So a lot of people needed to grind for Bugatti Ballite if they had the track pass, because Sig Yesco Absolute was the fastest car in the game. Before they needed it to be deleted, so now to the main point of the video. So the same happened to Bugatti, but now they deleted them. Even from players' car inventory, so many people got mad if they had a rare Bugatti, even Ballide. Because Ballide was the second most priciest car in the game, it costed I think 25 million. But you received some money back. But these two car brands weren't first to be deleted. It was Lamborghini, but I don't know what was the problem because I didn't play Driving Empire back then. But they might get sued because they still didn't delete the stupid Robux car loot crate system. And the same happened to base battles, but it was guns. But I don't know why Voldex is going the wrong way. It's very bad for them. And they might have to delete other car brands in the game. Did they deserve this what you think comment under the video? So I can know what y'all think about that. Do you think Voldex is falling down? Because their player base is falling. And maybe some other games like Drive World or Taxi Boss will take over the crown that was held by Driving Empire. So they are risking the popularity of their game. And one more thing like that they will probably take over. Even if on the pictures Driving Empire had 7k more players than Drive World. Even if all of these things that Driving Empire was going trough. I still prefer Drive World and Taxi Boss more because the drifting sounds in Driving Empire is so bad that I would rather pour bleach in my ears than listen to those sounds. And also the drifting is kinda quirky in Driving Empire. So this is all for this video. And if you want, you can watch the rest of the video.